In this video, it is given that a is 3 minus 7, 2, and b is minus 5, 2, 1. We need to find a unit vector perpendicular to both a and b. So we have this vector product, which will enable us to get a vector that is perpendicular to both a and b. But this is not of unitary length, or, length, or not necessarily unitary length. So in order to make this uh, of unitary length, uh, and just of length 1, we need to divide by the length of the vector. So we get the cross product, and we're going to divide it by the length of the cross product. OK? So what we're going to need is a cross B, which is the determinant of I, J, K, 3, minus 7, 2, minus 5, 2, 1. And that's going to be, so we're going to have um, I times minus 7 times 1, then take away 2 times 2, lots of I, then take away uh, 3 lots of 1, then take away minus 5 times 2, so plus 10, J, then plus 3 times 2, take away minus 5 times minus 7, so take away 35, K. So here we've got uh, minus 11i, we've got minus 13j, and then uh, minus 29k. Now we're also going to need the length of this vector, so the length of a cross b is going to be equal to the square root of uh, minus 11 squared plus minus 13 squared plus minus 29 squared, square rooted. So 11 squared plus 13 squared plus 29 squared is the square root of 1, 1, 3, 1. OK, so this unit vector perpendicular to both A and B is equal to minus 11i, take away 13j, take away 29k, divided by the square root of 1, 1, 3, 1. So I'd probably prefer writing that as minus 11 over root 1, 1, 3, 1, i, take away 13 over root 1, 1, 3, 1, j, take away 29, over root 1, 1, 3, 1. Okay. And so that is the answer I'm looking for.